Why are you laughing already? I haven't even told you the joke yet. <laughs> You're already laughing. Okay, so let's take a look at today's joke. So, what do you see? What's the first thing you see when you see this joke? Well, you see three things, right? You see a washing machine, a salt shaker, and a battery in jail. Okay, we know they're in jail because you can see the jail cell, and uh, I think you can see their bunks. Those beds in a jail, the beds are called bunks. You know, you can see the chains holding up their bunks. Okay, so these three things are in jail. Now, do you see why this is funny already? Maybe you already spotted why this is funny, but uh, let's take a look. So the washing machine says to the other two guys, so what are y'all in for? <laughs> what are y'all in for? Okay, uh, that means what are you all in for? Okay, when two words sort of become one word with a little apostrophe, that's called a contraction in English. So, you know, for example, y'all, y'all, that's a, another way of saying uh, you guys. You, you, it means you all, you all. In the U.S., you know, in the southern part of the U.S., very often people talk like that, even if they're talking to one person. You know, if I'm talking to you, just you, I might say, how are y'all doing? How are you all? Even though it's one person. Okay, it's sort of weird. But uh, it just means you guys. Okay, so the washing machine is, is asking the other guys, uh, so what are you guys in for? What are you guys in for? It means, uh, what crime did you guys commit that you're in jail? Why are you in jail? What did you do? Okay, so that's it. That's the joke. There's no, there's no explanation. Uh, they don't answer him. But we can clearly see why these three guys are in jail. Okay, so we can clearly see their crimes. Can you spot what their crimes are? <laughs> maybe you can see them. But it's a, it's a bit hard, you know. Uh, maybe you don't know what the names of these crimes are. So there are three, three, I can't hold up. Number three when I'm holding my phone. <laughs> there are three crimes here in this picture. So let's start with the washing machine. What do you notice about the washing machine? Well, you can see there's money inside the washing machine. Okay, so what crime is that uh, showing? What, 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 what is the crime? Why is this washing machine in jail? Okay, well, the crime is money laundering. Money laundering. Do you know what money laundering is? Money laundering is a crime that uh, that criminals. It's it's when criminals try to hide money illegally, when they try to hide the source or the the trace of the money. You know, imagine if you are a criminal and you're trying to move money from one country to another country. That's a bit dangerous, right? Like if you send money to someone else in another country with your bank, then the government could trace that, right? You don't want to be caught. So, you know, you want to sort of hide the money. Now, why would people do that? Why would people want to sort of conceal? Conceal means hide. Why would people want to conceal the trace or the source of their money? Well, it could be for many different reasons. You know, probably the most common one is tax evasion. Tax evasion is a crime when people try to evade their responsibility to pay taxes. Right? Everybody has to pay taxes in their country. But some people don't want to pay their taxes. So they try to evade. That's a, that's a crime called tax evasion. You know, it could also be because, uh, you know, maybe people want to fund terrorist activity in another country you know uh you know if a terrorist wants to support another terrorist in another country they can't just send the money with their bank they have to think of a more like a clever sort of a hidden way to do it so you know they might they might uh, buy a bunch of gold jewelry and find a woman put the gold jewelry on that woman send her to the other country and then when that woman gets to the country you know, she goes through customs. If they ask her, why are you wearing so much gold jewelry? You know, she's just going to say, um, I love jewelry. This is my own jewelry. I own it. I bought it. I love gold. 
right? And the customs people are gonna say, okay, <laughs> go through. And then when she goes through, she's going to meet the contact in that country, take off her gold jewelry, give it to him. He's gonna sell it, you know, for money. And, uh, and that's a way that terrorists and I'm sure other people, I'm sure a lot of people try to cheat the system that way. You know, that's called cheating the system where you, you try to think of a creative way and, and you, you circumvent. Circumvent means to go around. You sort of, you, you evade, you circumvent the rules. So that's not good. Okay, so that's what money laundering is. It's a crime. Okay, now the word launder also means to wash. Okay, to wash your clothes, right? That's why it's called doing laundry. If you want to wash your clothes, you you uh, you put it you put your clothes into the washing machine and you do laundry. You launder them. Okay, so the verb to launder means to wash. You could also say you could say I'm laundering my clothes. I'm laundering. Now that sort of sounds like old English to me. I I don't think we really use that. It just sounds a bit awkward if you would say that. I'm going to launder my clothes, but you could say that. That's what it means. Okay, so the, the word launder means to wash and money laundering is a crime. Okay, so that's why this, this uh, washing machine is in jail. Okay, so can you spot the other two crimes? Okay, so we see a salt shaker and we see a battery. So what are the crimes? Can you see now these might be a bit a bit more um, difficult because you might not know the names of these crimes in English. Do you know the names of crimes? Actually, I made a series about two years ago on my channel called, I think it's called Crimes and Justice or something like that. Okay, so you could go, I'll, I'll put the, the link to that series up here where I talk about all kinds of crimes. I think I talk about money laundering, I talk about, you know, the difference between robbery, burglary, theft, What's the difference between those crimes? Okay, so, so just watch this series and you will, I think I, I went over most of the crimes. So, so you'll learn the names of the crimes in that series. But uh, okay, so the salt shaker, you know, that sounds like a, a salt, a salt, right? A salt shaker, a salt. A salt is a crime. Do you know what a salt means? A salt means to be violent towards someone. Okay, so imagine if I, if I, do something violent toward you, then the police could charge me with assault. Assault. Okay. Now the other crime is called battery. Okay. So so that thing that you use to charge your your phone or your you know there's we use batteries in everything, right? So but actually battery is also the name of a crime, and it means to be physically violent towards someone. So what's the difference between assault? and battery well i'll tell you okay uh assault is a lot more common people it's a more common word you know you you might hear people say i was verbally assaulted that guy verbally assaulted me okay so the difference is that they both they both have to do with violence but battery always means physical violence and assault could be physical but it could it could just be a threat too okay okay so if i come and I punch you in the face, then the police will charge me with battery. Now, if I come up to you and I threaten to punch you in the face, if I say, hey, I'm going to punch you in the face, okay, then, but let's say I don't, I don't punch you in the face. Then, uh, you know, I didn't commit battery. I didn't do battery. I, I just assaulted you. I, I threatened you, right? I verbally assaulted you. Okay, so sometimes people talk about verbal assault. But if they say physical assault, then physical assault would be battery. I think that's the difference, okay? So I think most native English speakers probably don't, I don't know, would they even know what battery is? Like I said, sometimes the names of these crimes are not very common. My light is flickering. I have a ring light around my camera and it started to flicker. Uh, I hope the power doesn't go off here. Maybe there's a, a power surge. Can you see it on my face? <laughs> That's throwing me off. The light is flickering. Anyway, I'll try to keep going here. Okay, uh, so those are the three crimes here. There's money laundering, 
uh, there's assault, and there's battery. Hey, do you know what a battering ram is? That's a good example of uh, for you to remember what ba what the crime battery is. Okay, a battering ram is what they used to use in in the olden days, uh, like in the medieval times with castles. If you wanted to break in, oh, my light just completely died. Man, that's so weird. It must be a problem with my light. My light just died. Now I'm making, I've got another light up here. I'll try to fix my light after this video. Okay, so a battering ram is something you use to break down a castle door. My light just came on for a second. That is so weird. It's just so, it's so hard to keep my concentration when there's like a light going on and off. It's, it's hard. Okay. So a battering ram is, you know, the thing you use to like to, to batter down uh, a castle door. Okay. Uh, now very often battering rams in those olden days, they would have like a sort of a, a tent or like a roof thing over them uh, in order to protect the people uh, using the battering ram in order to protect them from like arrows or from from people dumping hot like maybe hot uh, like tar onto their heads or rocks or something else so it was like protected so the guys inside would try to uh, to, to to batter down the castle door okay so that thing that they use sometimes it would have a ram's head It'd be like, it's like a long piece of wood, a huge log, and the front would be carved into like a ram's head. Okay, so that's why it's called a battering ram. You use it to batter. Okay, so remember, to batter means to like, to hit, to use force. Battery is the crime. Okay, so I hope you're not charged with battery. Don't be violent toward anyone. Okay, so that's the joke. So he says, what are y'all in for? And it's funny because it's so clear. The washing machine is in for money laundering. Uh, the salt shaker is in for assault. And the, uh, the battery is in for battery. Okay, so there's your joke for today. I uh, hope you learned some new words about crimes. Like I said, I'll put, the, I'll put the link to my crime and justice or crime and punishment. I can't remember what it's called. I'll put that up here somewhere for you to watch after this. But I uh, hope you guys are have a great, having a great day. Don't assault anyone. Don't batter anyone. And don't launder your money. Just launder your clothes like I'm going to do. I'm going to launder my clothes today. <laughs> All right. Hope you guys are having a great day. And I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.